Hey folks, uh, something I've been wanting to show you for a little while now has been my uh, WDTV Live box, which is this little gray box right here um, with a remote control. And what this does is this adds uh, quite a few features to my, uh, to my television. I'm going to turn it on with the remote and, and show you what it does. Uh, it connects to the back of the TV via, <coughs> via HDMI cable so um, you've got to have a second HDMI slot which if you have an HDTV uh, you pretty much definitely have that um, have to switch inputs which is sort of a pain but uh, if you want to go with a box then uh, that's the reality these days now usually when this thing starts up it uh, shows me a little logo and then says no signal then sort of takes a few more seconds to come to life. I'm not sure exactly why it does that, but you know, I classify it as a minor annoyance. So after a few seconds it finally loads to uh, you know what I think is a pretty pretty nice looking uh, user interface that uh, it's broken down by media type so you can look at photos, videos, music, you can do different settings. Let's go to video. Uh, one of the cool things that this gives you access to is a local drives. Uh, so actually in the back here you'll see that I have um, a couple of hard drives plugged in. There's USB ports and I've got a couple of hard drives plugged in. Uh, and they're black so they blend in nicely. It's hard to see them. Uh, and if I go on the local drives I can go into folders and uh, for example I've got movies and TV that I've burned that I can you know, let's say get uh, Animal House and it'll actually in this view it'll start playing a preview of the movie I can then switch to uh, full screen mode and it looks pretty good and if I hit back in the remote it goes back to that preview mode and then I can actually back out of that uh, and again I'm, I'm doing this using the remote so there's actually two views here there's uh, there's a list view there's also a larger thumbnail view so there's different ways that you can look at uh, you know look at look at the video but uh, plays a lot of different formats of video which is cool as well so you can get video off of local drives and then you can also uh, do Netflix which um, which I have connected you need an, you need a Netflix account uh, minimum account is nine dollars a month and, uh, and that's pretty cool because then it allows you to stream using Netflix watch insta instantly and while it's not loaded with great movies uh, the selection seems to be getting better every week and uh, there's a lot of kids uh, movies as well uh, the only annoyance with this is that it takes uh, you know it takes a few seconds to load but once it loads things come up pretty quick so you see this is what I have in my instant queue and I can go through and um, you know click on a movie and I can then choose to play it I can navigate back up it'll also show me recently watched uh, top picks and then it has these categories that it creates based on what you watched uh, probably one annoyance here is that uh, you can't really search you can't really type in a search so uh, it, unless you just want to sort of flip through what they've got uh, you want to go someplace else on your computer or something and set up an instant queue um, which uh, which has the movies that you want in it so let's see I'm gonna now important thing is with this is also to have a good uh, a good network connection and uh, if you see here I've got this power line networking which actually uh, brings me my uh, comes from my router over the power lines to the TV and the, the power uh, power lines in my house to the TV and that that gives me pretty good speeds uh, you also have YouTube so uh, you can uh, you can come to YouTube and you can search uh, click on top favorites and another good thing about this is that you can connect uh, your YouTube account to this uh, uh, you know through the device which means that uh, you know your favorited videos the videos you uploaded are available and that's very cool as well uh, let's see other options uh, photos it'll connect to local drives it'll also connect to Flickr 
which is uh, a very popular photo service. Annoyance here is that you really can't, uh, you know, you really can't connect to your account. Uh, you can search for users, but there's no way to ser search through, uh, you know, your particular account, which is or accounts of your friends, which is sort of a hassle. So, a lot of the, a lot of them, you, you, these you get the thumbnail. So this isn't really the best, but the the best, uh, you know videos, uh, excuse me, photos you're going to see are on your connected drives. And uh, I have photos on a server, and I'll just show you that real quick. And I could look at, uh, let's see, we'll go by date, for example. And uh, if we go to 2010, let's go to November. And from here, you can... You know, you could click through one at a time, or you could look at slideshows, and, uh, you know, that's, uh, I guess, a smaller version of a, a picture, but uh, normally, if it's, uh, if it's a high-resolution picture, you know, it'll just fill the screen. Unfortunately, vertical pictures really don't come up and, and look that well, so... Here's one to look at. There you go. So that sort of fills the screen and that looks nice. It's not the best interface for, uh, you know, for navigating through photos, but it, it gets the job done. Uh, we've also got um, music. And for music, a uh, cool thing is it connects to Pandora. So uh, I can connect to my Pandora account. And, uh, you know, it'll, it'll know my stations. And uh, so I can click Goo Goo Dolls Radio. And then it, it'll start playing Goo Goo Dolls. And I can, you know, check thumbs up, thumbs down, bookmark this song, I don't like it, that kind of thing. And it'll keep playing it until I, uh, until I you know, press stop. So press stop back out there and let's go and of course it'll it'll um, connect to local drives or servers so album you know so here's my Billy Squire or Neil Diamond <laughs> greatest hits so it'll play uh, you know things on your network as well and it'll show the thumbnail That's pretty cool. Let's see, what else to show? Well, I guess one more thing. So, uh, is uh, Internet Media. It currently supports uh, Mediafly, which is, um, which is a site that has Internet podcasts. So, I can look at videos and audios or both and... You can actually go online, and here's Walt Mossberg's video for his Samsung Galaxy Tab. So you can actually set up uh, channels on the MediaFly website, or you can just browse what's uh, what's available. But again, browsing through this is not necessarily a great uh, it's not necessarily a great experience uh, browsing on here, since the remote is you know it's a very basic remote. So. All right, that's going to be my quick look at uh, the WDTV Live Plus. Now, uh, my understanding is that WDTV, uh, or, which is Western Digital, actually has a new uh, version of this. Uh, it's sort of a more up-to-date piece of hardware called the Live Media Hub, which uh, also adds uh, a different uh, user interface. It adds uh, Blockbuster On Demand as well as Netflix. Um, and, uh, it, uh, although it costs about a hundred dollars plus more, but it, that one also has a terabyte hard drive included, which I think is pretty cool and makes it uh, a good value. This, uh, one, again, you have to have external, uh, hard drives connected to it or connected to a server if you want to have, you know, a lot of local media. Um, the other thing which I just heard recently is that, uh, Hulu Plus um, which is uh, going to be eight bucks a month uh, will be available on this uh, within the next few months. Uh, this and also the WD Live Media Hub. So uh, you know, I know there's a lot of talk about uh, 
TV uh, boxes out there. Uh, there's the Roku, there's Boxy, the Pop Box, uh, Google TV. Uh, for the money, and, and this box right now is $99, I think that the, uh, the WDV, WDTV Live Plus is, uh, is really a great value. It's pretty simple. You, 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 can't, uh, you, know, you can't go wrong with it. So, uh, so think about it this holiday season, or if you want to spend an extra $100, um, think about the, uh, the new Live Media Hub, and you'll be able to get, uh, you know, at the very least, access to a wide variety of, uh, of good online content.